The AudioScan NOAA module is a PC application that runs within NOAA 4 and allows AudioScan equipment to exchange data with the NOAA 4 database and other NOAA 4 modules. Prior to using the AudioScan NOAA module, the AudioScan equipment and PC must be connected to the same network. See your product user guide or our networking video for further information. Once connected to the network, the IP address should be noted, as it is used to allow the AudioScan NOAA module to communicate with your system. This address is found on the main menu of your equipment or within the network menu within Setup. Upon launching NOAA 4, select a patient. Select the AudioScan NOAA module. The user interface of the AudioScan NOAA module is scalable. You can operate the module in full screen mode, at its minimal size, or adjust the size to your preference. If you are using the AudioScan NOAA module for the first time, or need to set up the module, select the Home tab. First enter the IP address of the AudioScan equipment in the Hostname IP address field, and then select the Connect button. Alternatively, you can search an IP address range. Select Scan to search for your AudioScan device. Once the system is found, select the text showing the model name, serial number, and IP address of the AudioScan you would like to connect to. Select Connect for connection to the selected AudioScan equipment. Upon successful connection, a picture of your AudioScan product accompanied by its serial number will display. If it is the first time connecting your system to the AudioScan NOAA module, select the red License button and enter your 9-digit license key. Upon successful completion, the License button will turn green and show as activated. The NOAA module section contains NOAA 4 database functionality, including selecting data and sending or retrieving this data to or from the AudioScan equipment. To select data, select the Patient Data tab. Use the gray drop-down menu to select the data. The data list may contain public audiograms from other NOAA 4 modules or data previously stored from AudioScan systems. Audiogram data will show in blue and red tables for the left and right ears. Audiometric and RECD and or REDD data will show. AudioScan measurement data will show in the same blue and red tables, but in addition will show a screen capture of the data sent into the AudioScan NOAA module, as well as any associated notes that have been entered for the saved data. To transfer data from the AudioScan NOAA module to AudioScan products, select the data to be transferred from the client session list so that it is highlighted in blue. Select Send to Verify to to send the data to the AudioScan device. A preview window will display indicating which data has been selected for transfer. To modify which data will be sent to AudioScan equipment, select or deselect the checkboxes for audiometry, RECD, or comparison curves. If there is no previously stored RECD or speech map comparison test data associated with the client record, then the boxes cannot be selected. If the associated boxes for audiometry, RECD, and comparison curves are selectable, then the drop-down to the right of the checkboxes can be used to choose any desired combination of audiometry, RECD, and comparison curve data. This allows for the transfer of audiograms, RECDs, and or comparison curves saved on different dates to support varied clinical workflows. Select Send to Verify to to complete the transfer of the selected data to the AudioScan equipment. Once you have measured tests you would like to store in the AudioScan NOAA module, Select the Retrieve from Verifit 2 button to pull the data from the AudioScan product along with an image of the current screen. A preview window will display with fields for entering an individualized title for the data file and or adding notes that will be saved into the module. To save the current audiometric data privately so that it is only accessible from within the AudioScan NOAA module, uncheck the box beside the audiogram icon in the bottom left of the window. If RECD is being retrieved from the AudioScan equipment into NOAA, the Save as Public RECD icon will be selectable. Check this box to share this RECD data with the entire NOAA 4 database, making the RECD accessible to other NOAA modules, such as hearing aid manufacturer NOAA modules. If desired, select the X to exit the Data Retrieval pop-up screen and return to the previous screen. Select the Save button to complete the retrieval of data from the AudioScan equipment. The stored data will be accessible from the Client Session Data drop-down and will be labeled according to the date, time, and title at time of storage. To view the screenshot associated with saved test data, click the Saved Image. You can then select the Save button to export the screen as an image. You can add notes to the test result by typing in the Notes field. Notes can be edited on the day that they were created by the NOAA user that originally saved the data. 
otherwise a new note may need to be created. To generate a NOAA module report to the Office printer or save a PDF, select Print from NOAA. Switch Patients allows you to switch patients without having to leave the AudioScan NOAA module, potentially saving time between patients. The AudioScan Equipment section, in this case the VeriFit 2, is where functionality that does not require NOAA 4 database interaction is contained. If you would like to view and control the VeriFit 2 or Axiom screen from the PC, select the Remote Console. Session XML files save all of your data on your AudioScan at time of storage, allowing you to restore an exact copy of the data to your AudioScan equipment at a later time. To send Session XML data from your PC to your AudioScan equipment, select Send Session XML. To retrieve Session XML data from your AudioScan equipment and store the data on your PC, select Retrieve Session XML. Print from Verifit 2 generates an AudioScan equipment generated report. This is configured and set up under the Printing tab of the Verifit 2 or Axiom. To save a screenshot of your current AudioScan equipment screen, select the Screenshot button. Configuration of the AudioScan NOAA module is done by selecting Settings. The application language can be set as desired and the AudioScan NOAA module can be set to automatically check for updates upon startup. If this box is checked, a pop-up window will automatically display with software updates for the AudioScan NOAA module and Verifit 2 or Axiom software. Selecting Check Now for Updates manually checks for the latest software on the AudioScan website and compares this to your currently installed software versions. If new software is available for the AudioScan NOAA module and Verifit 2 or Axiom, a Download Now button will appear. Select Download Now onto the AudioScan NOAA module to download the latest software update. Once the software is downloaded, you will be prompted to install the software update. The AudioScan NOAA module will close, and an Installation Wizard window will appear outside of NOAA 4 for installing the software update. Once complete, reopen NOAA 4 and select the AudioScan NOAA module. The installed software version will now be the most recent software version available. If the latest version is installed, a check mark inside a green circle, along with text, will indicate that there are no available software updates for the AudioScan NOAA module. Follow the same process of downloading the software for the Verifit 2 or Axiom via the Download Now button, and then initiating the software installation on the equipment via the Install buttons. Be sure not to turn off the equipment during the process. If this occurs, we recommend installing the software via the AudioScan USB stick. Once the software update is finished, a message will notify you of the successful completion and the Verifit 2 or Axiom will restart automatically. Once the Verifit or Axiom reboots, the software will load with the most recent software version installed. The default saving behavior for the AudioScan NOAA module can be configured in the Public Data Settings section. Save as Public Audiogram is unchecked by default, meaning that data from the equipment will not be saved as the latest public audiogram for use by other modules. Save as public RECD is checked by default, meaning RECD data retrieved from AudioScan equipment will be made available for use by other NOAA 4 modules, such as hearing instrument manufacturer modules. In the RECD settings, checking combined with latest public audiogram groups RECD data retrieved from an AudioScan product in a separate session with the most recent public audiogram for that client available in the NOAA 4 database. This parameter is applied, for instance, when the RECD is measured using the dedicated RECD test screen with no other audiometric data in the AudioScan device at the time of data retrieval. Print settings for the AudioScan NOAA module generated reports can be configured. You can add a custom logo, a data table, choose the size of the AudioScan equipment screenshot, and choose to show your notes on the report. Print to file settings for PDFs can also be configured. These parameters can be adjusted as needed to allow compatibility and report integration with the Office Management software. For users that would like to set where reports are saved and how reports are named, change the default directory and default file name. Please refer to your Office Management System user guide regarding automatically setting the import folder for external PDF reports. The Audio Scan Support section of the Settings menu has options to facilitate troubleshooting. Export settings saves a log and the current settings for troubleshooting purposes. Initialize settings resets the AudioScan NOAA module to its default settings configuration. And network troubleshooting can be used to evaluate network communication issues between the AudioScan equipment and the PC. For more information, please see the AudioScan NOAA module user guide.